to depict an athletic team rivalry, a long time rivalry. Unclear, though, how long these images had actually been there on the wall, but they were taken down less than 24 hours after a Facebook post calling for the removal went viral. A bizarre apology from the Utah State Bar tonight. The organization apologizing after it accidentally sent topless photos to every active attorney in that state, in Utah. The photo was attached to an email advertising the bar's spring convention, and the organization says the email was created internally, but that they have no idea how the photo ended up attached to it. Well, somebody pushed send. That's how it works. Uh, new details in the deal to sell off the Weinstein Company. It turns out... There is no deal after all. We're talking a big deal here, too. The $500 million sale that would have saved that company from bankruptcy is now off. The investor group backing the deal isn't saying much about it, except that it received disappointing news about the viability of actually closing the sale. And Seven's on your side with a consumer alert now. Target is raising its minimum wage again. The retailer says this spring pay will increase from at least $11 an hour to $12 an hour. Target is promising to get to $15 an hour by 2020. Shares, though, of Target fell more than 4% today, and that's because investors are often concerned about higher costs with raises. So from the streets of Manhattan to the governor's mansion, mm -hmm, Sex and the City actress Cynthia Nixon is said to be exploring a possible race for governor of New York. Nixon would face off against Governor Andrew Cuomo in a primary matchup. She now is one of at least three Democrats, considering a challenge against Cuomo, who, by the way, is seeking his third term in office. Well, after three months of ceremonies and statues, Hollywood's award season is officially over. And it was a memorable one for Alison Gianni. The I, Tanya actress was recognized across the board for her performance, and now she has the shirt to prove it. Janney posted this photo on Twitter of a shirt, and she got it from a writer. It says, I survived award season, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> but this isn't a normal T-shirt. It goes on to list all nine awards she got this year, ending with, quote, a freaking Oscar. Not so bad. Can you say that on TV? <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. All right, this is a story now we cannot get enough of. We told you last night about young Parker Curry. Oh, she's absolutely adorable. If you haven't seen her, get close to the TV, because today the toddler <laughs> got to meet the woman that she so much admires. Parker's the one in the yellow dress right there, and the other one, uh, that would be the former first lady. Now, Parker was dancing with Michelle Obama today, only hours or a couple days after this. This was the viral photo that went crazy all over the place. You saw her standing in front of the portrait of the former first lady with her mouth uh, just wide open in awe. And that led to the viral video that went out, or the picture that went out, and the next thing you know, the meeting of these two. And look at that picture. Isn't that just precious? A and picture really says a thousand words. Right and Miss Obama said this about, she said, one day I hope to look up at a portrait of you up on the wall. That is so touching. Mm -hmm. And perfect for Parker and other young girls, the newest line of Barbies, inspiring girls not with their beauty, but their brains and bravery. They are all based on historic women, including Amelia Earhart, Frida Kahlo, and Katherine Johnson. She is the NASA uh, mathematician featured in Hidden Figures, and each doll comes with information about the role model. That is really, really great to see. I like the cool. accessory in one. She has the name tag around her neck for NASA. Yeah. That's, that's the way to go. That, that's, <laughs> it's, it's no longer like the jewels. and it's, it's, no. You've got a name that's tag now. That's all you need the to know about it. My access card. <laughs> all right, we got some snowfall. It's big, fat yeah, snowflakes. Yeah, big, fat, fluffy flakes <laughs> for us. Uh, and a few places that are piling up quickly, too. So when we get these sort of nor'easters setting up, they can create some really heavy bands of snow and that's exactly what's moved into Anne Arundel County, specifically. Crofton picking up one and a half inches of snow already. Probably a bit more than that by now. 1.2 inches as we look toward Riva and uh, Annapolis at an inch. Just a trace in Columbia. But because these snows have started coming down a bit more heavily, uh, maybe earlier than expected as well, the weather service did bump into here with a winter weather advisory for a lot of these areas. I'll show you in just a second. Right now, 34 in D.C., 32 for Gaithersburg, 32 in Andrews. So the road surfaces in most of these areas are going to be a bit warmer than that. But the air temperature is dropping pretty quickly. We'll have to watch, especially the farther north you live, that we may end up with some slick spots. And that's part of the reason this winter weather advisory is out. Again, that is going to be with us until about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. You see Prince George's County and Arundel County as we work our way over toward Montgomery County. And this was upgraded as well. So heading north of Baltimore, now a winter storm warning. So keeping our eyes on this system, let me show you the big picture. Our low will set up off the coast tonight. And because of this counterclockwise flow, it brings in all that moisture from the ocean. But at the same time,
same time brings in some chillier air from the north as well. And it's really just a question of how far down to the south that cold air can move in. That's how we end up with the snow sneaking into places closer to Quantico tonight. So now continuing over toward Annapolis, you can see some of that dark blue. That is the heavy snow. Now this does begin to break down for us tonight. It sticks around in a spotty sense, but not this sort of blanket coverage that we've had over the last few hours. By tomorrow morning, here we are about four o'clock. You'll notice we have this on and off tendency throughout the first part of the day for some rain, some snow, a little bit of a mix, but where it stays as snow is farther northeast up Interstate 95 and that's where we're going to see some much bigger totals. Dry weather as we get into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and that will set us up for some nicer weather. So around D.C. and heading over into southern Anne Arundel County, a trace to an inch possibility primarily on the grass, one to three inches farther to the north, and then we very quickly jump into three to six.